everybody, it's Kristen and happy Topic Tuesday to you. This week for Topic Tuesday, we're going to talk about the products that I'm currently using up. If you haven't seen one of these videos from me before, then um, I have been doing this, I don't even know, for two plus years, maybe three years coming into now. I have to take a look and I'll have a playlist linked below if you want to check it out check that out but this is a video that I do once a quarter just kind of like my mascara madness and I come back and show you the products that I have kind of on a list that I'm trying to work through sometimes I'm doing really well and sometimes I've forgotten about something and I'm not doing so well um, but yeah that, <laughs> that is what this is it's an ongoing list I generally don't do like project pan or 10 pan or five by fall or any of that sort of thing. I really like watching those videos. I just always kind of have an ongoing list of things I'm trying to work through. And yeah, that's what this is. I have it printed out in front of me, but listed below, you will always find the, the products that were there last time. And then if I've added new products, I have those listed as well. So anything you could possibly want to know, hopefully is listed below for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Very first, I want to mention um, that in the last update, I had lost, misplaced, whatever. It actually ended up being in my purse. One of the liners I was trying to work through. So happy that I found it and was able to work through it. So this is the Chanel Waterproof Stilo. I think that's what it's called. Waterproof Long Lasting Eyeliner in Avene. So you can see that. You can clearly see <laughs> that it has gotten used up and I had a I had a good you know little amount of it and so I found that and worked through that I do really like these I I'm not buying any black eyeliners right now I'm trying to work through the ones that I have and I do have a full set my favorite at this point is the Marc Jacobs blacker at least for my upper tight line for my upper lash line the Tarte and Onyx is probably my favorite but at any rate I have worked through that and I th think I think I just, yeah, it's not been in an empties, but it will be in an empties video. All right, next was the um, Urban Decay Demolition. Now, after last year, last week's, or last week's, last quarter's video, I did kind of try to do this, what like panning people do, to kind of measure where I was and where, you know, so, I, so, so you can see some progress. So I thought that I did better on this than I did, but you can see here, I'm going to try to show this to you. This top line right above it is where I was. So that's where how much progress I made. So I have made good progress on that. I just felt like I had made more progress. But this is the Urban Decay 24-7 line, Liner in Demolition. And if you've watched these for a while, then you know I'm always trying to work through a brown and a black eyeliner because I just have so many of those. So slowly but surely, I'm making my way through those. The next thing that I had on here was the CoverGirl Deep Puffer Eye Concealer. And by your encouragement, um, and you know, friends as well, I have tossed that. It just did not work for me. It did early on. I, I really liked it when I first bought it, but something changed. I had it too long. I don't really know. This is another reason why I'm doing this sort of video. Uh, I just, it was time for it to go, and so I tossed it and showed it, I think, in last month's empty. So that was kind of a fail, but I just couldn't. Sometimes you just can't make a product work, and life is too short. The next thing that I have on there is the Maracuja, Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I have this right here, and I have been use, using this every day. I can make this work for under my eyes if I need to. Sometimes when I travel, I'll just take this. But I don't. there's no way for me to show you how much is in here, but I am using it mostly on blemishes or just dark spots on my skin or something that are just there permanently. So um, I do, I like this. And what I kind of tend to do, by the way, in case anybody is, has this and doesn't love it because it's too thick, is I will dot it in the places on my face where I need it and then I will go to the what I'll show you a little bit later the concealer for my under eyes that I'm trying to work through put that on blend that in and then go back and it has nicely sort of softened melted whatever you want to call it and it's real easy to blend and cover up so that is the Tarte creaseless concealer I am con continuing to work through that um, I, I just don't, there's no way for me to show you what's in here but I am continuing to work through it the next thing was the Laura Mercier um, Mineral Primer, and I used that up, showed it in an empty, so that is gone. I have, I have One of the things I did a while back was I had so many primers that I'm trying really hard to work through all of them. Um, the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer, that is a sad one. That's, again, one of the reasons I'm doing this. I went to use it one day, and it was almost like a week. One week it was fine, and the next week not so much, and it had just turned and smell, and I could not... So that was in an empties, I don't know, a couple of months ago. So very, very sad. It was a gift from a subscriber who had tried it and didn't work for her and had sent it to me. So I, I felt badly about that. 
Um, sorry if you guys can hear. I don't know what is going on out there. There's a lot of pounding going on. Yeah. So for six o'clock in the morning, I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, so the next thing was the Burberry Sheer Luminous Compact Foundation in Trench. I showed that in last month's empties. If I can get a screenshot of that, I'll try to put it here. But I used it up, every single tiny little bit of it. So proud of myself. Um, and we'll talk in a minute about, um, you know, what, what I'm going to do about next for a powder thing. But at any rate, I completely used that up. Very proud of myself. All right, the next thing was the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. Now, I want you guys to understand that this is like 10 grams of product. It's almost completely worn off of the back of that. 10 grams of product, that's a lot of product. Look at that. Can we just look at that? So, I have made some really good progress on this, and my, my issue is, on the one hand, I want to use every little last bit of this. On the other hand, and I, I mean, I have not strayed from this, I don't think at all. I've been using this straight for many months. But um, it's starting because this, if you haven't seen this, it's a four quadrant, and this is the one in nude, by the way. It's perfect for my, for a fair skin type, like for my skin type, fair to like a light. Um, it had four quadrants, a pink, like a pink blush sort of shade here, then these, a lighter bronzer, a darker bronzer, and this was an even lighter one yet. Um, you can kind of see maybe in the middle there what it looked like. So all swirled together it was perfection but now that it's just kind of down to these two it's it's teeny teening it's leaning a little bit orange and you can kind of you can almost kind of see that <laughs> um so tell me am i close enough to being done i would like to just continue to use it all but it's starting to look a little weird so what are your thoughts am i almost done with that so we'll see i, I have a feeling that the finish it up in me is going to want to just continue to use it all right, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. I have made some good progress on this. It's hard to, you know, again, it's hard to tell how I have that in there. And I, I think even I said last time that whatever, whatever was left after this last update, I was just going to let it go. But it's still, I just keep stirring it up. And um, I use the back of a, somebody asked me the last time, a back of a brush. Like I'm trying to find a skinny one, but... None, none of the brushes I'm pulling out of here are skinny. So like a little brush like this or something like that. Not that it matters. I stir it up a little bit, then kind of wipe it all off in there. And then it, it, it seems to continue to work just fine for me. So I'm still going to work through that. It's just kind of one of those things that I, I have noticed. I'm going to have to throw out some of my color tattoos. I absolutely need to do kind of a clean out that drawer. My cream shadows, like my Chanel um, Illusion Dombres, uh, my, my paint pots, the color tattoos, they all are definitely dry. I just have too many of them, so I'm going to need to clean those out. But I'm bound to determine to get through that. All right, I had picked a palette this year to try to pan that palette. And a lot of people brought up the last time, like, why did you pick that palette? And it's a good question. I, I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why. Here, here, okay, so the palette is the Na Urban Decay Naked Basics. And the reason that I picked it is because I thought, oh, those are shades that I would use almost every single day. It's a perfect palette to use. But on the flip side of it, do I really want this palette to be gone because it's perfect to use? It's perfect to grab a single eyeshadow or two and this and then travel. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I was trying to pan a palette, all right? <laughs> so again with the pounding. I don't know what's going on out there. So miracle of miracles, I did, and I knew it would, that would be the shade that I would hit it on because that's the one I use most often. It's W-O-S. Um, so I did, I did hit pan. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know that I'm continuing to try to pan this because I I like it. It's great to go. And <laughs> you can't see here. Let me see. I also have made decent progress on faint. You, you kind of have to look to see where the pan meets it. You can see I've used a little, <laughs> a little bit of that. But at any rate, I really do like this palette. I think it's a great go-to. I think the, the Becca Ombre Nudes is a little bit... Somebody was just asking me the other day. I like the quality of the Becca Ombre Nudes a little bit better, but it doesn't have a really nice light color in it. I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't know. I haven't decided if it's staying in or going out. I just don't... I kind of don't want it to be gone. I don't know. Okay, so then some things that were added in, I think that's where, where we're coming up to now, was foundation samples. And I had several samples 
um, at the time. And I, I honestly don't remember if I listed them all or if I talked about them all. I think I just kind of showed them because I didn't have them listed in the description box. But I have been working through all of those samples as much as I can. The most recent one, and I'll talk a little bit about this maybe in my empties and I... I may do some sort of a video, I'm not really sure. But this is the MAC Pro Longwear Water Resistant whatever in NW20. I used that completely up. Um, there were some other samples. that So I've been doing very well is the point of that. I, I apologize that I don't have other ones to show you because I didn't give enough information in that video for some reason. So currently I'm working through Make It Forever HD, which I have a deluxe sample of, and then I'll be doing a video on that. And then I also have a sample of the NARS All Day Luminous, I think is what it's called, um, that I don't necessarily love, but I'm really I'm trying to work through all the ones that I have. So that is that. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember the other sample that I had. All right, the other thing that I had said was that I wanted to use up the Pixie Eye Pens. One of the reasons for that is because, to my understanding, these have been discontinued. So you, you certainly can't get them in the pack that I was, you know, that I got them in originally. Um, but sometimes I like to put things in here that you can't purchase anymore because I, I have a hard time talking about things that you can't get. So I did go ahead on here and um, mark all of the all of the lengths of them. And I don't, I don't know that I've necessarily made very good progress on these at this point, so I, I am not going to necessarily show you each one of these, but I will take, I will put another mark on here, and um, then next time we'll maybe have a little bit more progress on that. But the black that I'm going to be using is this one now because that I have used up the abine. Yeah, I just checked most of them, and they are they're pretty much all the same. I just have I just hadn't made a lot of progress on them because I was using other ones, but. So this is the black one for sure is the one that I'm going to be working through. And then the rest of them are, they, they definitely are, it's it's reasonable that I could work through most of these. The one is very little, I will definitely be able to work through that. And the brown cocoa, I will go to that, black cocoa, excuse me, I will go to that after I finish up um, the De Urban Decay Demolition if that happens this month. The one I really try to need to try to use more is the one in Champagne because that's just not something I do very often. But I think I might try to use it as a base and that sort of thing. So I will I'm making a concerted effort to get through those. To get through those. All right, the Milani Multitasker was the powder that I had put in to use up after the Burberry, and that looks like this. So here's the deal. This is in medium, and um, I feel like I love this powder. I've loved it for a long time, and I'm not really sure I did. You can't really tell maybe from the height of it, but I did make a little bit of a dent in here. But this shade is all of a sudden looking just a little bit weird on me. Whenever I use it, either in person or when I watch it back on camera um, or on you know film, film or whatever, when I, when I look at the footage, I don't love how it looks on me anymore. And there's a friend of mine at work that I turned her on to this product a couple of years ago. And now because our Kmart closed, she's having a hard time finding it. So I actually am just going to sanitize this and give and pass this along to her. So that's what's going on with this one. And we'll come back in a minute to talk about what I'm going to put in there. All right. So the Nars Rakugian is how you say that. I've said this. I've said it's wrong so many times in so many videos, but I'm fairly certain Rakugian is how you say this. This was something that came in the birthday gift, and I thought this would be a good product to use up, especially for summer. This is what I'm wearing today, and I have made some decent progress on it. This is one I did remember to take it. So the line is up there. That that Nars, that big line right there. Um, so I've made some good progress on this. I'm going to keep this in. I do really like this. I don't, it doesn't sharpen very well. Like this is sharp. I mean, so it doesn't sharpen very well. Um, and I don't appreciate that because it's so soft, you almost have to sharpen it every time. So I, I don't necessarily love, necessarily love this. And this is, uh, is it a velvet? No, it's a satin lip pencil. So that, that is the progress on that or lack thereof. And I also had um, MAC Viva Glam 5 and you can see that I have used that up. There's just a little bit in there that I can still and will still use up but for the most part I would say that that is that that is gone and I have been successful on that. I'm not sure if I can back to MAC. I know that you can't when you back to MAC you can't get Viva Glam because the profit goes to um, AIDS research but I'm not sure if I can back to MAC the container. So let me know. Anyway, um, yes. Used up. Happy about that. The other thing I have on here that I don't have with me, my apologies, it's that 
at work. I left it on my desk and I um, needed to film this morning. <laughs> and that was the Too Faced Perfect Lips. I have not made very good progress on that, so I will continue to work on that. It's a, that is a lip liner and it goes with most things, but I don't know, I've been playing with more darker lip liners, um, particularly this past month, so I'm, I'm working on it, I promise. All right, so let's talk about a few things that I'm going to add in. And I don't I don't have a ton at this point, but I do have a few things that I want to add in. So um, first thing is concealer. I have, since I took out the CoverGirl concealer, I'm going to add in the Rimmel Match Perfection. And I have been using this. I, I don't love this anymore. I find it to be just a little bit cakey at times. So I'm trying to use it now before the weather gets really dry. When this, I liked this in the summer initially, and then as it came into winter when I originally got it, it definitely started to get cakey on me. So I'm trying to use this up before we get into the the dry days of winter. Um, I have a couple of eye pencils. At this point, hands down, my favorite is the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I think it's a medium brown, the one that I like. Um, but I have a couple of Catrice eyebrow pencils that were gifted to me. One from a friend whose son went there. This was from Kristen321. She picked one up for me. And then one from a subscriber who lives in Germany. And I do really like this. It's This is the Ash, Date with Ashton. The color, I believe, is the, is the shade on here. And I do really like this, but there's just something about the Anastasia Brow Wiz that it's the little point and the way it stays and the way it glides on. I just, I like it better. I, see, I feel like I get a better shape with my brow than I do with this at this point. But I have this and I have another one and so I want to use it up. So that's what's going down. I do have a backup of the Anastasia Brow Wiz if I just need a break. But that, I'm going to add that one in. And then the other one I want to add in is the... Um, MAC brow product. It's just called Eyebrows in Fling. I have no idea how much is in here, but um, it's just not dark enough for me. It's very, it's a very light color. So I've been using them kind of in conjunction with each other and using that one to kind of line a little bit and this one to fill in a little bit. So those have been added in. And then I have a couple primers that I'm working through as well. I thought that I had this in there originally, but maybe not. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This I have learned, however, really only, I will only put it where I have a little bit of larger pores. So here, here, and here, generally, maybe on my nose a little bit. Um, all over my face, I don't like this all over my face. It does not work well. Um, and the other one that I'm working through is, this is actually a moisturizer, but um, I've used this as a primer for a long time. And this is the Embryolisse Le Creme Concentré. I think I said that properly. So I get this, uh, I've got it from friends before that, you know, a friend of mine that lives in Paris and... Um, Maybe, the, maybe she's the only one that sent it to me. And then I bought it on Holt Look. So you can get it on Holt Look. Um, keep an eye on that. It will, it will show up every once in a while. I've seen it maybe four or five times now. So it seems to be a regular thing showing up on Holt Look. And I think, oh, and then a powder. I pulled a powder that I like very much that I thought I would go ahead and throw in there for now. Um, and that is the Smashbox powder. And this is the one, the Photo Filter Creamy Powder in number two. I just really like this powder. And um, so the powder foundation, this is a powder foundation that I will use over the top of my regular foundation. All right, I think that that is everything. I feel like I have talked forever on this video. I'm not quite sure why I had so much explanation. My apologies. Um, on my face today, as I said, I have the Makeup Forever HD powder foundation. And currently I am working on trying to see if I like the Becca powder foundation. And this is in nude. It's just, just can't decide. On my lips, as I said, I have the NARS Rakugan. And then on my eyes today, I was feeling just a little bit fall. Um, I went ahead and used since yesterday, I think, was the first day of fall. I'm recording this in advance. Um, I went into my Camp Cosmetics shadows, and I used Glorify, which is the shade right here. And then I used Captivate, which is this beautiful matte, like, wind burgundy shade. I also took Glorify and a little bit these two combined, which is um, Couture. And beneath my lower lash line. And I took a little bit of Light Years, which is the shade right here on my inner corner. And actually, um, oh, let's see, how long does it go? Yeah, I think it goes until the 6th, until October 6th. If you, on their website, since they're selling their products online right now, they're doing, you know, different deals kind of here and there. So if you buy three of these or three of the cheek colors, you'll get this um, palette with the magnetic back for free. So check that out. All right. I think that that is everything I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.